Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 91. Managing page permissions in Portal Studio. Microsoft continues to invest in making Power Apps Portals accessible to citizen developers by adding more functionality to the Portal Studio. This includes recently released capabilities that allow users to manage web page access control rules directly in the Studio. If you are viewing a page in the Portal Studio, you'll see the new Permissions area in the right pane. By default, pages are typically available to everyone. Toggle the switch to then choose which web roles a Portal user must have in order to see the page. You can select as many as you'd like. You'll notice that the anonymous web role does not appear in this list. This is because you cannot use web page access control rules to give access to pages to anonymous users. You can also toggle the Permissions Applied to Child Files switch, which is most often used when trying to limit access for the entire portal to only authenticated users by enabling this functionality on the home page. A couple of other things you might notice when using this functionality in the Portal Studio. If you're looking at a child page of a restricted page, you can configure if it should inherit the permission from its parent, or if you want to configure something different. And in the tree view page navigation area, you can see at a glance which pages have been restricted based on the padlock icon. Switching over to the portal management model driven app, you'll see that as expected, the portal studio has created a web page access control rule associated with the web role we selected. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 91 on managing page permissions in Portal Studio, useful.